Well, it was my wife's conversion initially that uh, brought a lot of conflict and turmoil to our marriage because uh, we were both skeptics, but she becomes a follower of Jesus. And uh, I reacted with a lot of hostility toward that because I didn't, I didn't know what was going to happen. She, it just wasn't part of our deal. And uh, so I wanted to get her out of this cult, you know, that she got involved in. So uh, I decided if I could disprove the resurrection, the whole thing would come tumbling down. And I thought I could do that in a weekend. Um, well, it took two years of my life to investigate the historical evidence for the resurrection. And then I came to the conclusion that she had come to, which is that the data... Uh, are strong in uh, supporting the claims of Jesus that he is the Son of God, having proved it by returning from the dead. Well, it was it was a really quick turnaround from getting involved in the film and getting right into filming. So uh, it was essential sort of having him, having his input, having Leslie's input into into the film and, you know, to help us kind of uh, to build to build that character, it's. I think we're also very fortunate to live in a time where you can pull up uh, interviews so you know so readily and and just kind of get in there and just watch and watch his mannerisms, watch how he does things, his rhythm of speech, and all of those things, and you know get a chance to kind of sprinkle that into the performance. Um, but there was a there was also a personal. I'd, I read the book when I was seventeen uh, for my first time. So there was a there was a personal connection to to want to do it justice and 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 get it right. And um, I think to do something so often. I think a lot of faith based films set up these 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 arguments in in the films with the intent of they're they're really thinly crafted arguments with the intent to just chop them down and I think what we what we wanted to do was show hey listen there's intelligent people out there on every side of this argument from every side of faith uh, this is where Lee by analyzing the facts this is where he came to in his journey of this um, but I think it does justice by saying whether you fall on the side of atheism whether you fall on the side of Christianity or wherever it is in between um, uh, you depart from facts at some point and it takes that leap of faith. Um, uh, and, and that's a message that I'm proud of, uh, I think, in this film that we're able to, to, to weave into there. I think uh, on one level, they'll just be entertained. They'll yeah. relate to my character, someone who uh, you know, was a vociferous atheist and skeptic. Um, and um, you know, I, I think they'll just find it to be a, a, a great love story, a detective story, a story about a father-son relationship that was troubled and so forth. Um, but also I think they'll be challenged intellectually to, to maybe question what is the basis for their skepticism. Uh, could it be that um, a thorough investigation of the evidence might lead to a different conclusion? If I have one thing that I don't understand in the world today, it's, it's, it's that we've lost the ability to dialogue uh, from different points of view, and I don't, I don't understand that. Uh, we're all searching for truth. We all have something written into the DNA of who we are as humans to search for the eternal and something beyond ourselves. And I don't think that it has to be this contentious uh, uh, relationship. I don't think it has to be an us versus them type of thing. Let's talk. Uh, and I think that that's what the film does is it just starts a conversation uh, that I hope continues once people step out of the movie theater. Mm -hmm.